So here I'm going to show you a picture of a china cabinet that we bought off of Craigslist. I paid just a little bit more for it than normally. I, I tell you, I love to brag on the fact that I get things for $5 or $10, but I paid a little bit more for this piece on Craigslist. And it's a solid oak American made piece of furniture. So I wanted to be able to, to use the fact that it was solid hardwood, but it is oak. It does have a heavy grain to it. And I wanted to be able to make it look more like a cabinet that I could take into a kitchen. So what I did, now I'm going to show you the after of this, of this particular piece before I show you actually how to paint it, is I took the doors off of my piece and I wanted to expose not only the bottom but the top. Now remember, you can see on your, um, on your screen there how this piece had mirror in the back. It also had glass shelves. One of the great things about the One Step Paint is, is that I can literally apply it on top of things like mirror, glass, ceramic. So here it lets you see that pop of color that I did on the back. I actually used the Amy Howard One Step in Rugo in the background. On the outside of the cabinet, I used Not Away Blue. So I love doing that combination. Now look on those two um, pieces of wood that you see where the doors would have closed. I painted those in the darker color Rugo as well. If I'd kept those light, they would have stood out like two bright lines. So I wanted them to go away. Um, the other thing is, I love the fact that Everything that you see on Pinterest and different social media sites now have all these white uh, lacquered pieces or white china or books, and it's difficult to find those. So I'm going to show you how to be able to recreate that look in just a minute. So let's go over real quickly about one step and how you're painting. A lot of people, you may be watching this and thinking, okay, I've never painted anything before. It makes me nervous. I've got my china cabinet, but what if I mess it up? I really want to encourage you, you can't mess it up. It's really about understanding the prepping process and the waxing process. The painting part is really pretty easy. But on, um, on a piece of furniture that I want to show you, this is actually just a drawer that I took out of a piece of furniture that I had rescued, and that's what I'm going to show you this on. This is actually not even real wood. A lot of the pieces that you're going to rescue may not be. They may be a veneering. They may be a formica. Um, there's a lot of different materials and even resins and plastics that these furniture pieces that you're rescuing and are getting for really good prices are going to be made out of. So the first thing we need to make sure that we do is we need to clean it very well. What happens over a period of time on kitchen cabinets or a piece of furniture, they have greasy residues. They have um, maybe where they, somebody has used pledge and different cleaning materials, even liquid gold that was really big in the 70s and the 80s are on that piece. We've got to get that off. That's giving it a residue that could act as a surfactant that it would not allow the one-step chalk base paint to adhere as well. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take some simple green. Now this is my caveat, and I always remind people of this, when you look on the container, a lot of times, and it will have a spray um, attachment to it, it's going to say concentrate. Make sure you cut it. We do not want you to use a concentrate on your piece, so make sure you follow the directions and you add enough water so that way it's got the, um, the correct properties. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to clean it very well. So you're going to spray the simple green on it. I'm just going to take a paper towel and wipe it off really well. You know, the cool thing about this is getting ready for the holidays is that you can do this project this afternoon or this weekend. Because our One Step Paint doesn't have any, any VOCs and it's all natural, it allows you to be able to work in your home. There's really no smell that you're going to have from it. Second thing I want you to do is just spray on a little bit of water. And then I'm going to come back and wipe that water off. That's getting the simple green off and giving me a nice clean surface area. 
Make sure that it's nice and dry before you start actually painting. Now, the great thing about it is, with our one-step paint, I love these little pots. They're great for adding color. I love painting the insides of drawers, different accent colors. But also what's great now is we have bases that you can mix thousands of colors. I loved that there was a blogger that posted a couple of weeks ago that she had taken a favorite book, a vintage book that she had, and it was by um, uh, Little Women was the name of the book. Alcott is the author, and she called it Alcott Blue. But she had them mix the paint to match that blue book, and it was absolutely amazing. She painted a metal postal cabinet that she had gotten, and now she has that in her family room. So just use your imagination on the type of colors and combinations that you want to use. Also, you'll notice on the drop-down box, there's different color combinations that we put together. So maybe if you're painting your china cabinet, you don't want to do it in the blues. You're going to have a multitude of colors here that are complementary, um, that would have a lot of impact visually that you could be able to use. So just use your imagination, but hopefully these color combinations that I put together for you uh, will give you a nice start. So with the, the pots that you see with the color, I do want you to shake it up very, very well. A lot of people may say, what is chalk paint? What, I've heard this, you know, what makes yours different from other people? There's a lot of great differences. With ours, it is a chalk-based paint, but you do not have to seal it if you don't want to. So you can let it stay that beautiful matte color. The other thing is now with Ace Hardware and our partnership, you can mix thousands of colors in a chalk-based paint. But because that chalk paint, it has calcium carbonate in it, and that calcium carbonate will give you a more textured finish. Um, and depending on the tool that you're going to use, which we're going to go over in just a minute about brushes and rollers, you're going to have different looks. But it's very matte. And so when you add things like waxes or dust of ages, it literally goes down into the body of the piece. So now I think my drawer is good and dry. I'm going to stir this up really well. Now the calcium carbonate a lot of times will have a tendency to settle and I want to make sure that I've stirred that up really well. So now I'm working with a synthetic brush. A synthetic brush is going to give you a much smoother finish. Make sure when you dip your brush in to offload it, you don't want to have too much paint on it. Now I'm putting a lighter color on top of a, of a darker base. So remember, it's called one step, it's not one coat. So I may have to put two or three coats on the piece just depending on the type of wood that I'm working with underneath. So it is an overlayering process. I will tell you, I would like for you to take the drawers out of your piece and work on it on a flat surface. I always like to, to take, let's say if I'm doing a nightstand, I'll take that drawer out and I want to sit there with that drawer and I want to work on, on top of it. I don't like working more on a vertical surface. Of course, if it's the side of an armoire or a large piece, you'll need to. Now, on this china cabinet that I painted that I'm telling you about today, when I went to paint the inside, I actually sprayed it. If you want to spray, it's great to be able to use on kitchen cabinets, but you're going to have to thin the paint about 15 to 20 percent. Follow the directions on the airless sprayer that you're going to be using, um, but it makes it go a lot faster, but you're going to use more paint, so you're going to have to allow about 30 percent more paint. As a rule, a quart of paint is going to cover around 120 to 130 square feet. So if people are going to be painting kitchen cabinets or a china cabinet, I'll tell them make sure that you get at least two quarts of paint to be able to paint the entire piece. Please stay in touch with us on social media and know that it's your turn now to take this knowledge and go enjoy the bragging rights.